G'day fish tankers, Jason here, Perth Cichlids. Today we're going to look at some signs of are your fish colour fed, mostly peacocks. Okay, so we're looking at some colour fed peacocks here. If we have a look at their head, you can see it's almost like glowing. Telltale sign. And then you have a look at the body. This one's fed a colour enhancer that colour enhances greens and blues. So you can see the green and blue throughout the body. These are female peacocks and were grey before I started colour feeding. If you bought these fish and took them home in two to three weeks they'd start to lose the colour and be female colours again so I will take you to a tank of a male that isn't colour fed and I'll show you what the females should look like So here we go, here's one of my male peacocks. You can see the blue in the face is nowhere near what the other fish I just showed you is. This has just been fed a, um, a bulk flake. This is what the female should look like. And she's ready to spit those babies. I just saw her open her mouth and there was eyes. So those colour fed peacocks I just showed you, they look like this probably 14 days ago. So you can take a $5 fish and turn it into a $45 fish. So on a good quality food, you will see coloration to the female's fins, but that's as far as it should go. The blue, the f blue in the face should not happen. So I'll take you to my next peacock tank and show you the male there as well. So here we have another male. As you can see, the blue's a bit more intense on this fella, but nowhere near what it would look like colour fed. I've just started feeding the, this guy a colour enhancer, so that's why his face is as blue as it is, as it is but that's all natural. But you can tell the difference between this one and the one that's colour fed. So there's another female. That's what the colour fed ones over there used to look like. I'm not sure what's in the um, colour fed tank. What? ingredients are in it but I'm gonna do my best to find out and I'll be doing videos for the next six to twelve months on it so stay tuned for that another telltale, telltale sign of fish being color fed is you walk in and all the males are showing bright colours. I think with peacocks you get one or two that usually stand out and the rest will dull down until you pluck another one out. That's in my experience anyway, that's what happens in my tanks. I'll have one to two 
show them real good colour and the other 20 will be dull when I sell them too then another couple will colour up so if you walk into a, a shop or someone selling fish and their whole tank is glowing then you know there's something going on I will be letting you know what food these guys are on but that video won't be coming out for another few months yet because I'm only 14 days into my experiment so these are the colour fed ones again I'm classing these as colour fed and the other ones are colour enhanced so when I say colour fed I'm thinking that there's something in there other than natural colour enhancers because that is a female grey peacock okay so I'm just going through some of the emails I've been sent back I sent out about 50 emails asking people their thoughts on colour enhancing foods and colour fed foods and here's one response we've got shows you to feed a good protein diet about 38% and then you've got the ingredients to bring out your yellows and reds and oranges and also things like krill and other shrimp to help promote colour in fish so this, so this PSB seems to be in all of the colour enhancing foods. It stands for synthetic bacteria. So there you go. Pause that and have a read. That's another email response I got. The PSB could be an ingredient that does turn the fins pointed. We've noticed that some of the rounded fins do go pointed and we're trying to work out what ingredient does that and this might be it. It doesn't seem harmful so have a read up on PSB or I will have videos on this in the near future. So I'm going to probably leave the colour food discussion probably there because um, I am going to go in depth a bit more. I am going to feed 10, 8 to 10 of the better quality colour enhancing foods to some fish and they'll all be set up in the same conditions and we're going to see which ones do what to what fish. So that should be interesting. So that will be coming out over the next couple of months and I'll be doing some research for the next 12 months. So stay tuned for that.